So uh, you need to know only these six names, but this is in your text. Uh, iron, copper, tin, silver, lead, and gold have iron equivalents that you sometimes, but not always, use. And these uh, Latin equivalents must be used when they need to be used, uh, if that kind of makes sense. So there's certain times, and I'll teach you when, that they need to be used, and you must use them at those times. When you took General Chem uh, 2A, you had the option to use Latin or English. Here you do not have the option, so you must learn these. Uh, iron, it's Fe is the symbol that comes from ferrous or fair. Uh, uh, copper, it's Cu, that comes from cupra or cuprate. Uh, tin uh, comes from stan, it's Sn is its symbol. Silver is Ag, Argentina. I guess that's silver there. Uh, lead, think of plumbers. And then gold, ore, like uh, if you're from this area, you know Oroville is north of us, that's because uh, gold. But uh, in Latin, it's not with an O, it's with an Au. So you got to know those names, we're going to use them. They all have special suffixes, which are A-T-E. So you always use this suffix and this one only. And you're going to see these when we name transition metals that have uh, complex ions that have negative charges. We'll use these. 